All right, so right here we got us a how many? Look at the come on, focus. Look at the fuel gauge on this thing. 1,970 hours on a all electric gator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight six volt batteries. Going into this here fancy motor controller with all these wires and switches and all sorts of crazy nonsense. Some heavy gauge wire coming all the way back to this here electric motor, which drives that there differential. So, complaint is the thing has no power. So, we're going to do a real basic test here. Regular old molding meter. We got one lead all the way up there, one lead back there. That gives us our 48 volts nominal. We're a little high, that's fine. Let's go take it for a test drive. Alrighty, so we're out here and what I got here is number one, all the plastics removed here. Um, <clears throat> we got our service switch. So in this position right now, it's in the service mode. No pedal, no nothing. We flip this switch, fires everything up, it's in drive mode. So we're going to come up here, go to forward, and what we're doing is we just want to see if there's any battery voltage drop. Let's see, before we go crazy and start testing electrolyte and go in other directions, if our batteries are good. So, and now we start slowing down. Good start off and then it defaults to a crawl. But notice how we didn't lose hardly any battery voltage. I mean, it's still good. Batteries aren't dropping way down. It's not a power supply. We switch this off. Oh. And there we go. We cycle power to the controller. All of a sudden, we get a short spur to full speed. And then we're defaulted. So what does that mean? Well, one, we know our batteries are good. Two which this is what I keep harping on, service information, knowing how it works. Power off shuts power off to the controller. Power on gives full current to the four outputs out of the motor controller. So that gives us full speed. Full amperage, full speed until, now we're going slow we have a fault. So if we do it one more time, cycle power. There we are, simple as that. So we know we've got something that's making this here module not happy. Now once again, knowing system operation, there's only two fault codes that are gonna give us Creep mode. Most of the faults on this will completely shut it down, won't let it move. So, we're going to pull inside here because this status light you can't see, but that's our blink code. Or, if you got the fancy $1,200 programmer controller, that goes in J3, and we can test it that way, which we will do in another video tomorrow just to show you guys two ways to do it. So, let's get pulled inside and see what our fault is. Alright, so we're under here at the motor controller, wires, all sorts of fun stuff. Anyway, we got our status light here, which is going to be our blink codes, and we're going to have a 1, 1, 2, 3. So a 1-3 on this machine is a uh, motor speed sensor, so we're probed here right at the motor controller. We got around 15 volt out and signal and that speed sensors right back here I mean we can go back there we will we'll double check that but this is more universal showing general principles and why we don't need to be scared of a bunch of batteries and some electric motors and a motor controller so we can see we have our 14 15 volt and then uh, what do we got here our green trace here it's gonna be our signal wire and we don't actually have that trace on right now, so let's pop it in. Try to keep you guys focused. And whoop. 
delay, 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 and nothing. So let's check it back at the speed sensor. All right, so we are probed in back at the speed sensor on the sensor side, not the main harness side. Same deal. All righty. Forward, delay, delay, delay. And reverse. Again. Whole lot of nothing. Needs a wheel speed sensor. Or a motor speed sensor. Wow. Same thing as a wheel speed sensor. It's just, uh, just toggles a 0 to 5 volt square wave. Nothing we haven't seen a million times before. So once again, just because it's 48 volts, an electric motor, and a fancy thinking box with a bunch of wires and different voltages doesn't mean we need to get scared. Base operating principles, using your logic, service information. That's what you need. We don't need to be scared of these. I mean, we've had these since... 1999 in some version or another pretty rudimentary not a tesla by any means but if you understand basic electricity basic sensors and you have decent service information or a good head on your shoulders you can figure out this motor controller and this whole drive system fairly easily so hope that helps all right guys so the whole point of this video was as I've said multiple times now it's electric yeah it's 48 volts yep got a motor controller mm-hmm and we're starting to see more and more electrified vehicles now some of them have higher voltages some of them are hybrids but core principles still remain I mean we've got a 0 to 5 volt square wave speed sensor we've got electronic electronic and electrical principles service information theory of operation logic don't be scared follow the procedures think it through and you can handle these just as easily as you guys are handling everything else out there so uh like i said we're going to do another video tomorrow with the actual factory tool just to show you guys another way of going about it and how sometimes even the factory tool isn't really the best thing in the world although in this case we're also going to do a motor calibration so i'll walk you guys through that so stay tuned for tomorrow